Hey guys, my name is Micah and today I'll be telling you about the random MIDI effect which generates some random notes to your MIDI clip. Alright, so I've got an empty MIDI track over here and I want to go to my MIDI effects and pull in random but very important, I do not have an instrument which means I won't hear anything. So with MIDI you always need to put in an instrument. I'm just gonna go for this random piano. And I've just created this clip which is just C's. It's not beautiful, but it's the best to help demonstrate the random notes because you'll always know which notes you're deviating from. So this random plugin has a few parameters. You've got chance, choices, scale, and then you've got your mode, which is either random or alt, and then your signs, which you've either got add, subtract, or buy, which is add and subtract put together. So this chance parameter is kind of like a dry wet knob for randomness, so the higher the chance, the more likely you're going to get a random note. In fact, at 100% chance, you're basically saying every single note that you hear is going to be random, whereas at like 50%, only half the notes you're going to hear are going to be random, so... So you can control your random notes somewhat, and you can do that by using this choices and this scale control. And the choices, think of this as a kind of random filter. So if you've set this to three, you're saying, I'm giving this MIDI effect three options. So the scale knob over here doesn't really have anything to do with the scale you're in or the octave you're in, but it determines the interval of these choices. So if I've got three choices and my scale is set to one, then basically I have three notes that my random MIDI effect can use, and they're all going to be one semitone apart. So I've got your C, which is choice one. The reason C is choice one is because this is my actual incoming note. So my incoming note is choice one. Choice two over here, when your scale is one, will be your second semitone, so D flat. And my choice three would be a D, so you're going to have a little small chromatic. Now if I change scale to two, now this means you've got three choices and they're each two semitones apart, which means they're each a whole tone apart. So I've got C, I've got D, and I've got E. Those are your first three notes in your C major scale. And I hope that you understand the pattern. So if I change scale to six, that would be a fourth, and this will sound very chordal. Now just a quick reminder, subtracting would do the same, except it would be below your incoming note. So alt mode, instead of giving you random notes dispersed between your actual incoming MIDI notes, alt will cycle between the allowed output notes in a fixed order. So you determine your allowed outcome notes with this choices knob and the scale knob. Now this chance knob means the next output note will always be the next note in this series. So it means there's a 100% chance that you're going to be hearing a note from this alt note pool as opposed to a note from your MIDI clip. And at 0%, you're only going to hear notes from your MIDI clip. So hopefully there you can hear the alternating between the notes in your pool. So how is this practical? Why on earth does this effect even exist? Well, some people like to add this and try and get melodic ideas, but you can also use it in other interesting ways. So you can add other effects after it and create a cool MIDI effect track. So let's add the scale effect. And by using the scale effect, you can check out this video on the scale effect. You can basically force incoming notes into a specific scale or a specific pattern of notes. That way your random notes will still make tonal sense. And why not add an arpeggiate after that? In fact, why not add the arpeggiator first so that you arpeggiate your incoming notes? If I had chords, you'd arpeggiate them first and then change some notes in your sequence and then put them back in the scale that you're arpeggiating. To learn how to use this arpeggiator, you can check out this video over here, but I hope this makes sense. Thanks for watching this series on MIDI effects. Have a lovely day and I will see you guys in the next one.